Welcome to the General Chemistry 1 class. This section is on stoichiometry focusing on molecular formula from molar mass. In this lesson, we will determine the molecular formula given the molar mass. Let us recall that the percent composition of compound can be used to determine its empirical formula. Empirical formula may be corresponding to one or more molecular formulas. To identify which molecular formula corresponds to a given compound, its molar mass must be known. Consider a compound with empirical formula CH. There can be a number of possible molecular formulas given this empirical formula, such as C2H2C4H4, C4H4, C6H6, and C8H8. It is necessary that molar mass be known to come up with the number, identity of the compound. There are different methods for determining molar masses, which will be discussed in some of our future lessons. Given the empirical formula and molar mass of compound, here are the steps for determining its molecular formula given the empirical formula and molar mass. Number 1. Get the empirical mass given the empirical formula. Empirical mass or empirical molar mass is the molar mass calculated from the given empirical formula. Number 2. Calculate N, where N is the ratio of the molar mass to the em empirical formula. N must be rounded off to the nearest whole number. And R, and number 3, multiply all subscripts in the empirical formula by N. Let's have example number 1. A compound with empirical formula CH is found to have a molar mass of 104.14 grams per mole. Determine the molecular formula of the compound. Let's have the solution. Step 1. Get the empirical mass given the empirical formula. The given formula has one carbon and one hydrogen atoms. Planning in the molar mass 12.01 grams per mole for carbon and 1.008 grams per mole. The empirical mass is then equal to 13.018 grams per mole or simply 13.02 grams per mole. Step number 2. Divide the given molar mass by the empirical mass. Substituting the value we have, 104.14 grams per mole divided by 13.032 grams per mole, which is equal to 7.998, and this can be rounded off to 8. Step number 3. Multiply all subscripts in the empirical formula by the value of n. Since n is equal to 8, the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms are being multiplied or can be multiplied by 8. Hence, the molecular formula is C8H8. Example number 2. A solid has empirical formula of N2O5. An experiment was done to determine its molar mass, and a value of 108.7 grams per mole was obtained. What is the molecular formula of the solid? Solution Step 1 Get the empirical mass given the empirical formula. The formula has two nitrogen and five oxygen atoms. The empirical mass can be computed as 2 times 14.01 grams per mole plus 5 times 16 grams per mole, given or giving 
a value of 108.02 grams per mole. Step number 2. Divide the given molar mass by empirical mass, substituting the values we have 108.7 grams per mole divided by 108.02 grams per mole, which is equal to 1.006 or approximately 1. Step number 3. Multiply all subscripts in empirical formula by the value of n since n is just 1. Then the molecular formula is just the same as the empirical formula n2 0 5. n2 0 5. To summarize, the molecular formula of a compound can be determined if the empirical formula and the molar mass of the compound are known. Thank you and God bless.